Hi, everyone. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? I'm fine because tomorrow is holiday. That's great. Yes, we're going to be at home tomorrow. Are you going to work? Sorry? Are you going to work tomorrow? Not. Great. I don't. Okay, excellent. So you are going to spend time with your family. That is great. Yes. Are you going to participate in some tradition about the old school day? No. Uh, I stay with my family at okay. home. Okay, that sounds like a good plan. Hello, Christina. Hello, Samuel. Welcome to the class. Teacher, good evening. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? I'm okay. I'm happy because tomorrow is free day. <laughs> it's a holiday tomorrow. Okay. It's a holiday tomorrow. I am happy too, right? I am happy too. And tomorrow we won't have classes. We are not going to have classes tomorrow. Yes. I will miss you tomorrow a lot. And I'm going to see you next uh, Thursday. So, Samuel, are you working? Are you still working, Samuel? Are you at work? I am work, teacher. Ah, okay. I understand. No problem. Thank you. Hi, Christian. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you tonight? I'm great. And you? I'm very well, thank you. We are really happy because tomorrow we are going to be at home. We are going to watch a movie. We are going to listen to music and enjoy with the family. Are you going to work tomorrow, Christian? No. Great. Okay, uh, let's start with tonight's class, right? Do you have any questions about the platform exercises? Do you have questions? Questions? No problem with the section five in the final exam? Okay, if you don't have any problem with those exercises and evaluation, then let's start with the class. Tonight, we're going to continue talking about the present perfect, but at this time, we are going to learn some differences between the present perfect and the simple past. So welcome to the class number 14. The topic for tonight is present perfect versus simple past. So let's start with this class. This is the lesson objective for tonight. In this section, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice the present perfect and simple past. So in a conversation, we are going to look the both things, the present perfect and the simple past. And we are going to learn to, uh, let's see, distinguish between these two things. When we are going to use the present perfect and when we are going to use the simple past. Oh, let me see. <clears throat> Before to go to this, let's have a review about the simple past form of the regular verbs. Um, let's see. 
to make a regular verb uh, in simple past, we need to add ed, right? We need to add ed to most of the verbs. A la mayoría de verbos regulares solo vamos a agregar ed para hacerlo pasado simple. Can I have this example? Love, wash, started, cold, and listen. That is the rule number one. To make regular verb into simple past. Rule number two, if the verb ends in E, you just add D. Easy, right? Que el verbo ya termine en E, solo agregamos D. Like, agree, bake, hey. Rule number three, if a verb ends in a consonant plus Y, you take off the Y and add I, E, D. Que el verbo termina en una consonante más Y, eliminamos. Quitamos la Y y agregamos una I normal y agregamos ED, I, E, D, para formar el pasado de estos verbos. Then I have this example for you, carrot, try, write, and try. And I have rule number four and rule number five here. Pass the verse in, in a vowel well plus Y, you just add E, D. Si el verbo termina en una vocal más Y, solo agregamos ED, ¿verdad? Normalmente, played, prayed, enjoyed, and delayed. When a one-syllable verse ends in vowel plus consonant, double the consonant before adding ED. Si el verbo termina en esta combinación, consonante, vocal, consonante, es el verbo de una sílaba termina en consonante, vocal, consonante, tenemos que duplicar la segunda consonante y luego agregamos ed. That is the case of stop, stopped, plan, plan, hop, hopped, beg, beg. Do you have any question how to form regular verbs in simple past tense? How to make the simple past tense of the regular verbs? Any questions? Don't forget about these rules. Rule number one. A la mayoría de verbos solo agregamos ED para formar el pasado. Rule number two. Si el verbo termina en E, solo agregamos D. Rule number three. Si el verbo termina en consonante plus Y, eliminamos la. Eliminamos Y y agregamos I. Y agregamos ED, I, E, D. Si el verbo termina en una vocal más Y, or white, solo agregamos ed, sin quitar la y, so play, play, pray, pray. Y la última, duplicar, ¿verdad? Si tenemos la combinación en un verbo de una sílaba, la combinación consonante, vocal, consonante, duplicamos la segunda consonante. That's it. <laughs> Now let's say a look of this bear. The first one is watch. We watch a movie last night. Can you help me to solve the second one, please? Use it. We use. We use. Okay. okay, use. And the next one, number three. Okay, number three, yesterday, mom. They okay. okay. Como el verbo termina en E, ¿qué necesito agregar? Sí. Simplemente agregamos D, ¿verdad? Porque ya es termina en E, agregamos D. The next one. Who the wood outside? ¿Quién cortó Chopper. la madera? Who shot the wood outside? Hop. Ok. Pero necesito hacer algo con este verbo. Es un verbo de una sola sílaba. Y tiene la combinación consonante, vocal, consonante. What do I need to do? Duplica la T, L. Ok. Tenemos que duplicar la P. Chop. En cook. Dan dinner for us last week. Cook it. Cook. Ok. We add ED. Cook. Eh, cry. Crying. Okay, cry. Thank you. It cried the whole night. Mm 
Ok, Gerson, can you see it now? Ya puede ver la presentación, Gerson. Todavía no, teacher. Todavía no, ok, ya me explico. Ok, let me share it with you again. Here we go. Can you see it now? Oh, sí, teacher, ya puedo ver. Ok, thank you. Let's continue then. Eh, Pueden, uh, I need a volunteer, un voluntario. Who wants to participate? Ok, can you please read the words in orange, the verb in simple past? Yes, teacher. We watched a movie last night. Sam used the computer an hour ago. Yesterday, mom baked a cake. Who shop the wood outside? Dan cook dinner for use last week. It cried the whole night. Okay, excellent, thank you. Thank you so much. Let's go now. Let's listen this about the pronunciation of this. Los verbos regulares tienen esta de verdad que les agregamos para hacer el pasado. Tiene diferentes pronunciaciones. Son tres las pronunciaciones diferentes. El, acá están los tres sonidos. Unos terminan en sonido de T, otros en sonido de D y otros en sonido de I. Let's see, for example, worked, watched, cleaned, stayed, invited, visited. So those are the three sounds. Let's listen to this information. These verbs end in t. Worked, watched. These verbs end in d. Cleaned, stayed. These verbs end in Id. These verbs end in t. Worked. Watched. These verbs end in d. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. Okay. Any volunteer to try to practice this regular verb in simple path with the right pronunciation at the end? Thank you, Francisco. Thank you. Yes. Uh, work, watch, clean, stay, invited, busy. Thank you so much. Invited. 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 Thank you so much, friend. Any other volunteer who wants to try it? Me, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Work, wash, clean it, stay, invited, visited. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Now, ¿cómo saber cuándo vamos a pronunciar los verbos con sonido de T? ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar sonido de D? ¿Y cuándo vamos a utilizar it sound? Let's go with the next information here. Okay, before to go to that information, um, I would like that somebody read this small paragraph. Trying to pronounce this. Walk, glance, arrive, ordered. And did and tasted. Let's take a look at the first one. Walk. ¿Cuál es la pronunciación al final de este verbo? Walk. Ed. Okay. Ed. Pero este ed al pronunciarlo tiene tres sonidos. Puede tener tres sonidos. T. Sonido de t. Pero sonido de deos. Sonido de ed. Ed. Sound. D, sound or ed. Sound. So walk. ¿Qué sonido escuchan al final? Walk. T. Sí. T sound. Glance. Walk. Glance. 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 
that is T sound too, right? Arrived. Arrived. T? Ordered. Ordered. ED? Okay, with D sound, yes. And handed and tasted. Esos dos verbos es el sonido id, ¿verdad? Al final del verbo. Pero no leemos estos verbos. Walked. Decimos walk. Glanced. We say glance. Arrived. We say arrived. Ordered. Ordered. Handed. Handed is the right pronunciation. Tasted. Tasted. So, any volunteer who wants to try it, read this as my paragraph, trying to pronounce the past tense of those verbs there. Any volunteer? Me, Crisia. Thank you, Crisia. Last weekend, I walked to my favorite restaurant. When I got there, I glanced through the menu. The waiter arrived and I ordered a stick. After dinner, the waiter handed me the bill. I left happy because my meal tasted great. Excellent. Thank you so much. Excellent pronunciation. Thank you, Crisia. That was perfect. So let's see the here. Here are the verbs. Walk, glance, arrive, order and hand it and taste it. Let's see, when we are going to use it sound? We are going to use the it sound if the verb end in a T or D. Todos los verbos que terminen en sonido de T o D, vamos a pronunciar el pasado simple de los verbos regulares it. With it sound, por ejemplo, want. Termina en sonido de T. Al momento de hacer el pasado, vamos a decir wanted. Need termina en sonido de D. Need. Entonces el pasado es need it. Need it. ¿Cuándo vamos a pronunciar T sound? En los verbos que terminen en, en estas letras. Letra P, K, F, S, T, H. Es H or TH. Si un verbo termina en estos sonidos, vamos a pronunciar T. Held. Termina el sonido de P. Held. Held. Al momento de hacer el pasado simple, con sonido de T. Wash. Termina en es H sound. So wash. Washed. Washed. En el pasado simple. Vamos a, con, vamos a pronunciar con sonido de D si los verbos terminan con vocal, con sonido de vocales o los siguientes sonidos. L, M, N, J, R, G, V, B, V, W, N, D. Examples. Call. Termina en este sonido. En L sound. Hold. Hold with this sound. Play. The vowel sounds the same. Played. Played. Do you have any questions in this part? Questions? No, teacher. It's okay. No question. Okay, good. So, about the irregular verbs, before to go to the conversation, just remember that the irregular verbs, eh, they don't follow any rule. So you have to learn them by heart, one by one, because they have um, different simple past and also the past participle is different, right? So now let's start comparing the present perfect with the simple past. When we are going to use the simple present, simple past, sorry, and when we are going to use the present perfect, so let's start with this conversation. Actually, I have. So let's listen and follow the reading. I'm sorry.
Sorry, I'm late. Have you? Can you listen? Can you yeah. listen the conversation? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Here we go. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. New vocabulary in this small conversation. Any new words? No. Moroccan teacher, Moroccan food. Y comida de Marruecos. Any other new word? Chosen. En la tercera línea, esa cabana. Chosen. Uh -huh. That is the past participle of the verb choose, which means escoger. Gracias, Okay. Any other question? Teenager. Teenager, adolescente. What is it? Oh, when I was a teenager. As a teenager, adolescente. Any other question about vocabulary? Thai food? Is Thailand food. Thailand, okay. Okay, if you don't have any other question, let's go with this. Look at the question. The first question, have you been here alone? Have you been here alone? Has estado aquí por mucho tiempo? Say, no, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? Have you chosen a restaurant yet? What is the meaning of this question? What is the meaning of this question? Have you chosen a restaurant yet? ¿Hay algún restaurante? O... Más o menos, más o menos. Es como... ¿Ya escogiste el restaurante? Then say, I can't decide. No puedo decidir. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? ¿Alguna vez has comido Moroccan food? ¿Comida de Marruecos? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Present perfect. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? ¿Alguna vez has probado el curry verde? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. Now, look at this. It's simple past. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. Esta oración está en pasado simple en presente perfecto. I ate it a lot there. ¿En qué tiempo es esa oración? Present perfect or simple past. Simple past. I ate it a lot there, dijo, ¿verdad? Yes. Oh, simple past. Ok, excelente. So I didn't know that. It's another sentence, simple past. How long did you live there? What about this question? Is it present perfect or simple past? How long did you live there? Simple past. Simple past too, right? I lived there for two years. Maybe I for those años. It's simple past too. So as you can see in this small conversation, we can use both, right? The present perfect and mix with the simple past. We are going to learn how to do that or how that happened. Okay, I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation before to continue.
Anybody? Do we need to practice? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Carlos and Jose, me. Can you please say your name? Tell me your name. Evelyn. Thank you so much, Evelyn. So oh. let's listen, Evelyn and Carlos. To Carlos, you are Peter, and Evelyn, you are going to be Mandy. Let's start. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can decide. Mm. Have you ever eaten Mare... Moroccan? Moroccan food. No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I be I be have it share Serbia time. Oh, how about Thai food? Have you ever hungry for it? Actually, I have a, I have I live in Thailand as E A Chan it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. So let's see, can you help me to pronounce the following words? Let me see, I'm sorry. This one. How do you pronounce this word, guys? Can you tell me, please? This one. Minute. Thank you. Minute. Minute. And this bird, how do you pronounce this? I can. Decide. Decide. Thank you. Then we have this. This sentence. It's delicious. It, it's delicious, thank you. Let's see the next one. Esta contracción, la contracción de el pronombre I y have. I've. Yes, I've, I've, several times. I've had it several times. And finally this one, can you help me with this word? Teenager. Teenager, yes, teenager, teenager. Thank you so much. Okay, let's listen to this information. You. Okay, thank you for your help. Let's listen to this information. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. <clears throat> have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Okay, tell me this information. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Vamos a utilizar el presente perfecto cuando el tiempo está indefinido. No sabemos cuándo sucedió, pero si, tiene un, si es un evento específico en el pasado, entonces necesitamos utilizar el pasado simple. We use the simple past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. Está allí el presente perfecto. Ahora, si yo quiero decir eh, dónde y cuándo comí eh, Moroccan food, then I use simple past. I ate it once in Paris. Oh, no, I haven't. I've never eaten present perfect. 
Let's see the second question. Have you ever had green curry? Say yes, I have. I tried ever it. I tried it several years ago. Hace, hace años, pero yo lo probé. Muchis, muchas veces. That is several. Varias veces. Oh, no, I haven't. I have never had it. En ese caso utilizamos present perfect. So, si sabemos cuándo sucedió el evento, simple past. Si no sabemos, we use the present perfect. Any question in this part? Okay, let's... Present perfect. Let's read the following information. You can see here the differences between the present perfect simple and the past simple. When we're going to use the present perfect and when we need to use the past simple. Number one, unfinished option that is started in the past and continue to the present. And I have this example. I've known Julie 14 years. Then, and I still no her. He conocido a Julia por 10 años. Y todavía la conozco. Todavía tengo contacto con ella. Todavía la veo. Entonces, I need present perfect. I've known Julie 14 years. Now, look at this. For finished action in the past, we need the past simple. I knew Julie 14 years. Conocí a Julia por 10 años. But then she moved away and we lost touch. Se mudó lejos y perdimos contacto. Entonces es una acción que ya finalizó. Ahora ya no la conozco. So I knew Julie 14 years. Sim or pass or pass simple. Right? This. Second, a finished action in someone's life. When the person is still alive, likes experience. The end of the sentence, my brother has been to Mexico three times. Como él está vivo, todavía puede hacer que vaya una cuarta vez, una quinta vez a México. So, my brother has been to Mexico three times. It's a life experience y esa persona todavía está con vida. Puede seguir haciendo esa actividad. Ahora, a finish action in someone's life. Una acción que terminó en la vida de alguien. When the person is dead, cuando esa persona ya falleció, my great grandmother went to Mexico three times. <laughs> ya no puede ir más, pues mi eh, tatarabuela fue a México tres veces. So, se terminó esa acción, ¿verdad? En la vida de esa persona. Then we use past simple. There went a finished action with a result in the present. Una acción finalizada en el pasado, pero que aún tiene un resultado en el presente. Por ejemplo, I lost, I, I've lost my keys. He perdido mis llaves. The result is that I can get into my house now. Todavía no las he encontrado. Y no puedo entrar a mi casa en este momento. I've lost my keys. He perdido mis llaves. A finished action with no result in the present. Una acción finalizada y que no tiene ningún resultado en el presente. Now there is no result. Let's see, I lost my keys yesterday. It was terrible. Esta acción ya terminó, ya finalizó. Now there is no result. I got new keys yesterday. Obtuve llaves nuevas ayer. Perdí las otras. I lost my keys yesterday. And the last one, with an unfinished time work. This week, this month, today. Con una palabra de tiempo, ¿verdad? Con una expresión de tiempo que nos indique que no ha finalizado ese periodo. Por ejemplo, I have seen John this week. I've seen John this week. Todavía hoy es martes. Y lo vi ahora. Entonces, todavía faltan algunos días para que termine la semana. So, pero puede ser que lo vea ¿verdad? otro día de la semana. I will see John this week. He visto a John esta semana. O this month. Or I have seen John today. 
create a finish time work. Ahora, hay expresiones de tiempo que nos sugieren que eso ya terminó, como last week, la semana pasada, last month, el mes pasado, in yesterday, ayer. I saw John last week. Yo vi a John la semana pasada. Ahí necesitamos past simple. Do you have any question about this information? Questions? No teacher. No questions? Right, then let's go with the exercise then. Okay, let's see. Simple past or present perfect. And then number one, last night. I, I lost. I lost. I, lost. I have lost. Then you say simple path. Yes, you're right. Last night, I lost my keys. The connector say I, I have visited or I visited Harry three times. I have visited. Muy bien, un evento repetitivo, ¿verdad? De experiencia de vida de alguien que no ha terminado. I have visited Paris three times. Number three. Right. Number three. I was. Okay, I went. Simple past or present perfect. I know it, Katie, for 10 years. I knew Katie for 10 years. Ok, como no tenemos ninguna otra frase ¿verdad? que nos indique que ya no es, que ya no tenemos contacto con Katie, entonces utilizamos present perfect. I have known Katie for 10 years. Katie for 10 years. And the next one. I, play. I have played hockey since I was a child. Present perfect, thank you. He jugado hockey desde que era un niño y continuó jugando. Entonces, todavía esa acción continúa en el presente. I have played hockey since I was a child. Number five. I have seen. I have seen Mark three times this week. Yes. This week is an unfinished period of time. No ha terminado esta semana todavía. I have seen Mark three times this week. Six. She lies in London time. Uh, no, she has, I she has lied. Nine, she has lied or she has lived? She has lived. She has lived, teacher. Okay, she has lived in London since 1994. Todavía continúa viviendo ahí. Ella ha vivido en Londres desde 1994 y aún vive ahí. So, todavía continúa esa acción. And the last one, number seven. I drank, drunk or drank, no, no recuerdo. <laughs> oh, tell I me, simple drunk. pass or present perfect? Simple pass. I have drunk. Okay. I drank. Sería, I drank. I drank three cups of coffee yesterday. Como ayer ya terminó, entonces es un evento que ya terminó. I drank three cups of coffee yesterday. I need a volunteer to read sentence one, two, three, one, two, three, and four, please. Teacher. Let's listen, Anna, this time. Thank you, Anna. From one to four, please. Uh, last night I lost my case. I found that. Uh, aquí sería visited. Visited. Le falta la I, ¿verdad? Ah, yes, yes. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. 
my mistake. Have you seen me? Paris uh, three times. I have now Katy for 10 years. I have played hockey since I was a child. I have seen my three times this week. Todas hechas. Yes, do it, please. He has lived in London since. Uh, 1994. 1994. I drank three cups of coffee yesterday. Thank you so much. Very good job. Can you help me to pronounce the following word, guys? Please, let's go. I'm sorry. That is the next exercise. Here we go. Let's see this word. How do you pronounce this? Kiss. No. Kiss. 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 Last night I lost my kiss. My kiss. Kiss. And let's see the next. Yeah. This one. Thing. Things. 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 Child. 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 I was a child. I was a child. And let's see the next is live. Live. We have live. In London since 1994. The next, the rest of the work. Excellent. Thank you so much, Anna. Any other volunteer who wants to practice? Me, teacher. Thank you, Vladimir. Let's start. Last night, I lost my keys. I had visited, visited Paris three times. I have now carried for 10 years. I had played hockey since I was a child. Child. I have seen Mark three times, sorry, three times this week. She has lived in London since um, 1994. I drank three cups of coffee yesterday. Thank you so much. Almost perfect job. Thank you. How do you pronounce this name in English? Katie. Okay, Katie. Katie. Let's go to the next exercise. Can you help me to complete this conversation, please? I have three small conversations. I have three small conversations here. Can you help me to complete them? Have, have you ever hung in a birthday party? Okay, the first one is have. Have you ever hung? Hung, yes, in a birthday party. Yes, I. Yes, I have. have, have. I have. Okay. I sang, sang once on my birthday. Okay, explain. I sang once on my birthday. Second conversation. Have you ever lost money? Okay, have you ever lost money? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay, but my mom lose lost one hundred once. Okay, the last one. Have you ever crashed a car? And let's see. Have you? Ever crashed, crashed a car? Yes, I. Yes, I. I have one. I crash. Okay. De acuerdo a las reglas de pronunciación que vimos, con qué sonido termina este verbo regular? Crash, crashed, or crashed? Crashed. Crushed with mm. T. With T sound. Crushed. 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 
Okay, yes. teacher. Thank With you. this down at the end. Thank you so much. Okay, so we are using here the present perfect and also the simple past. Have you ever spent in a birthday party? Yes, I have. I spent when on my birthday. Have you ever lost money? This question is for you. Have you ever lost money? Money. No, money. I haven't. But my mom lost one, one, yeah. 100 once. Okay, 100 dollars when? Now, y los demás nunca han perdido dinero. Have you ever lost money? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, how much did you lose? Fifty dollar, teacher. Fifty dollars. Vamos a ver quién ha perdido más dinero. ¿Quién más dijo yes? ¿Cuánto perdieron? I lost in the in the terror house. Really? Yes, teacher. The last month. It was last month. I'm sorry to hear that. Todavía se está recuperando de eso. Yes. <laughs> okay, I need two volunteers to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to Meet participate? Her. I have Vladimir and who wants to practice with Vladimir tonight? Any other volunteer? Me teacher. Thank you, Francisco. So, Francisco, you are A, Vladimir, you are B. Okay. Have you, have you ever sang in a birthday party? Yes, I have. I sang once on my birthday. Have you ever lost money? No, I haven't. But my mom lost $100 once. Have you ever crashed a car? Yes, I have. Once I crashed my dad's car. Okay, thank you so much, Vladimir and Francisco. Excellent job. Okay, I have these other two conversations. Can you help me to, burn, to complete them, sorry? Have you ever seen a famous singer? Famous, famous singer. Have you ever seen a famous singer? Thank you. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I? I see so, Jaylo last year. I saw. I saw J Lo last year. Next, have you ever failed? 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 No, I, I haven't. haven't. In the last sentence, have never. I have never failed a subject. Excellent. I have never failed a subject. Do you want to practice with these small conversations? Who wants to try at this time? Me, Crisia. Thank you, Crisia. And any other volunteer? One, two, three. Me, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. So, Grisia, you are A. Carlos, you are B. Have you ever seen a famous singer? Yes, I have. I saw Jello last year. Have you ever failed a subject? No, I haven't. I have never failed a subject. Perfect job. Thank you. Now, you, have you ever seen a famous singer? With your own information, have you ever seen a famous singer? In my case, just on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> just on the TV. And you say, no, I haven't. <laughs> and nobody? Oh, what about famous Salvadorian singer? Yes, Alan Walker. Okay, great. And the next one, have you ever failed a subject? At the high school, at the university, at the school, have you ever failed a subject? 
Yes, I have. I have failed subjects a lot of times. Oh, really? What was the subject? Was it math? No, li literature. Lenguaje y literatura, no sé cómo decir. Literature. Okay, literature. Literature. Anybody? Have you ever failed a subject? Vladimir? No. No, I haven't. I have never failed yes, a subject. Excellent, Francisco. Socialist. Okay, social studies, really? Yes, teacher. And in this time, are very difficult. Okay. So that happened in the past, so don't worry. Yes, I passed with the not seven. Oh, with seven, but that is a still a good grade. Seven is still a good grade. Okay, this is the last exercise for tonight. We're going to finish here. <laughs> Can you help me please? To identify if it is with simple passes with present perfect every sentence. I have 10 exercises here. Number one. We yeah. going to the restaurant last night. We have gone or we went? We went. When? Okay, when? you say it's simple past. Why? Why do you think it is simple past? Because it's yesterday. Oh, yes, <laughs> because we have the, the time expression last night. So, significa que ya terminó ese periodo de tiempo. Excellent. So, what is the answer? I'm pretty sure. Now. Okay, when? The second? I want. Oh, we, it's a negative sentence. I haven't the been being. there. I haven't be, been there for age. Okay, present perfect in this. I haven't been there for ages. No he estado ahí desde hace tiempo. That is, I mean, for ages. Desde hace mucho tiempo. Number three, Hector. Hector spent his last no summer holiday in the country. Oh, you say simple past? Yes, it is. Hector spent his last summer holiday in the country. Ya terminaron las vacaciones. Last summer. Eh, las últimas vacaciones de verano. O las pasadas. Number four. James. James learned on the roads by her. I'm sorry, that is present perfect. Okay. He has learned all the rules by heart. And number five, Charlotte. Yeah. Charlotte haven't arrived yet. Uh, haven't is correct. Has. Uh, hasn't. hasn't. Charlotte hasn't arrived yet. Why hasn't? Because he's Charlotte third person. Excellent answer, thank you. Let's see number six. Oh, sorry, I give you the answer. I earned a lot of money last month. Teacher, ¿qué significa esa palabra? Ese verbo. Eh, ganar. Okay. Okay. Ganar dinero. Gané mucho dinero el mes pasado. Simple pass, right? We have the expression last month. The people, the latest decision of their authority. Didn't like or haven't liked. I think it's didn't like because it's a decision that is already taken. Okay, didn't like. Simple pass. And number eight. Have you ever tried this food?
Yes, have you ever tried this food? And number nine. The kids visit their grandfather's last Sunday. Okay, visit it. So simple path. And the last one. I feed the birds in the garden yesterday. Okay. It's a question. Oh, it was a question. I didn't see the question. <laughs> yes, it was a question today. Did you feed the birds in the garden yesterday? Great. I need a volunteer. One, two, and three. Who wants to start? Me, teacher. Thank you, Carlos. We went to the restaurant last night. I haven't been there for ages. Hector, thank you, teacher. Hector spent his last summer holiday in the country. Thank you. Any other volunteer for five and six? Me, Crisia. Thank you, Crisia. Four, five, and six, verdad? Yes, please. James has learned all the rules by heart. Heart. Charlotte hasn't arrived yet. I earned a lot of money last month. Perfect. Thank you. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Any volunteer? Mitch. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you so much. The people didn't like the last decisions of their authority. Have you ever tried to try this food? Uh, the kids visit their grandparents last Sunday. And did you feed the viewers in the garden yesterday? Excellent. Thank you so much. So do you have any questions about this? Are you able to identify when we need to use the simple past and when do we need to use the present perfect? Yes, más o menos. Claro, la pregunta siete no me quedó clara a mí. Seven, the people didn't like the latest decision of their authority. Ah, wow, okay. porque el didn't, el didn't. Ah, el didn't, porque para el pasado simple necesitamos el auxiliar did para hacer las oraciones negativas y las preguntas. En el caso de las oraciones negativas se utiliza con not, did not. Contractado es didn't. Entonces si hubiera sido eh, positivo, hubiera sido the people that like. The people like. Like. Solo el verbo en pasado, the people like the latest decision of their authority. Okay. Is it, is it clear now, friend? So Any so. other question? So, so. Okay, we can continue studying this then next Thursday, okay? If you still have that doubt. Any other question? No, no teacher. teacher, no question. Okay, uh, if you don't have any other question, thank you so much for being here with me tonight. I really appreciate your help and your participation. Thank you, Vladimir, Cristia, Ana, Evelyn, Sandra, and Chris Vanessa. For thank you for doing the chair. Uh, tomorrow is a holiday, right? So we are going to rest and we won't have classes. See you next Thursday. Uh, enjoy with your family, relax listen to music, watch a movie, clean your room. I don't know what you're going to do with your day off, right? So bye-bye. See you next Thursday. Good night. 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 Good night.